going to pick up our new baby. Conscious. We're here in Honda, Peter Warren Honda. Today it's 9th of May 2024. Time is 9:48 in the morning. I'm not excited because that's not my car. Wow! I'm just here to support my wife. No, what's the skater? Okay, so may mga ingon sa itong new car. Excuse me. Yes. Uh, when you press icon, uh, does it mean like uh, it, it can save petrol? Yes, yes, oh, okay. because it will help with your emissions and fuel efficiency. Okay. Um, but as stated, it does the impact on how far uh, the response of the engine. Yeah. Okay. You, which you probably feel in the city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, from here, everything else on the center console, you have two systems. Okay. Uh, Brake will be something you're used to already, okay. uh, but you also have a new addition called. Descent, which is useful if you're driving down a very steep area, so mm -hmm. a very mountainous area. It will help to basically use the gearbox to slow down the car so you don't have early uh, degradation of the, the brakes. The brakes yes. yes. okay. From here, climb control, very, very easy. Fan speed. With the main computer, you press OK to bypass it from the main screen. Mm -hmm. If it's OK, I'm going to set this up how I have it set up in my car. I have it to operate a little bit more safer. Mm -hmm. uh, what I tend to do is I like to put everything that you would use day to day basis on the first screen. Mm -hmm. And then everything that you might access once in a while on a second screen. That way it keeps mm -hmm. it nice and tidy yep. and it makes it a little bit more safer to operate as well. Mm -hmm. It's built in navigation system. Oh, yeah. So with this That's system, good. You don't even need to have it connected to the Wi-Fi or anything. It actually mm. operates on its own. Satellite. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, if it's okay, I'll personalize the car a little bit further mm -hmm. by sure, setting sure. up the phone for you. Yes. What kind of phone do you use? Um, uh, Apple. Apple. I Moving on to the steering wheel, just mm -hmm. with a couple of systems. They're going to be yeah. quite familiar for you coming from the Civic. Stations and music is still left and right. Volume mm -hmm. is still up and down. A mm -hmm. couple of new additions. The home button controls what you see in the... You can see how long the engine's been on for and average speed. Mm -hmm. What music you're listening to? You can see who's being naughty not wearing the seatbelts. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> but to answer your question, with David, does the car come with a full tank of fuel? Yeah. Full tank of fuel. So yeah. it's, uh, ah, cool okay. yeah. that's good. Cars are always full, uh, full tank of fuel. Mm -hmm. um, in the tank right now is 95. Mm -hmm. It's up to you what you prefer to use 91, 95, or 98. Um, you can use E10 if you want to. Um, but the car is more suited for 91 and 100. 91 is a, is a good baseline. Oh, yeah, no. mm -hmm. With the E10, the E10's, the E10's a good fuel mm -hmm. in terms of something that is quite budget savvy. Yeah. yeah. But when you actually compare the 91 to the E10, the 91 will actually give you more kilometers. So when you're thinking about how much you're spending on fuel, the 91 might be just a little bit more expensive, mm -hmm. but it's giving you more kilometers, so you oh, feel right. less. A full tank of fuel is about 625 kilometers. So what this means is, if the car in front of you slows down, your car will actually slow down with it to maintain that safe distance. Mm -hmm. And we set up three car space, so three. Mm -hmm. If the car in front of you slows down, your car will use the camera and sensor here to oh. judge oh, that distance. Cool. Here, to finish it all off, mm -hmm. uh, there's one last system called LKAS, okay, which is yeah. this little guy here. Mm -hmm. If I press it, it's going to bring up a little steering wheel with two little lines mm -hmm. in the middle. This is my favorite system because I'm a very, very lazy driver. Mm -hmm. We press this button, 
what happens is the car sensor and camera will then start to read the lanes in the road oh. and what will happen is the car will actually start to follow and mimic the road for you Good. so it's following tracking and mapping the road i almost like to call it just to help people understand how it works is it's kind of like a semi-autonomous yeah, yeah yeah one additional thing mm -hmm. for your seats mm -hmm. just remember that the car does have memory seating i know mm -hmm. the civics they've never had memory seating no, so yeah. this will be something new for you mm -hmm. memory seating it's basically all electronic along the side so yeah. you can adjust the seat how you want to just take note with your keys see how there's little numbers here mm -hmm. one and then the other spare key in here Perhaps. basically that's for your stability control so you'll have this in the civic as well yeah. never ever turn it off the only this is a this is a trick when if you press it now mm -hmm. see how nothing happens Nothing in the Nothing. screen. But what I want you to do is press and hold it for me. Oh. See how it turns off? The reason why they do that is to make sure you don't hit it by accident and it just turns off. If what we'll do is we'll just switch it back on, press and hold. That's it. So we'll make sure it's always just on. If it's off, it'll give you a massive warning to say that the system is off and you can't miss it because it'll be bright orange here. Oh. Saying that it's off. What it does is it's used for your stability and traction control. Say for instance, we're driving on a road and there's naturally a lot of busy roads have a lot of oil on them from cars leaking oil, from mm -hmm. cars and dirt, brake dust. It's just naturally very, very oily, the roads. Mm -hmm. If you're driving and one of the wheels breaks traction and then you start to spin out, mm -hmm. that's what a car would do without normal traction control. Mm -hmm. You lose one wheel, mm -hmm. the whole car starts spinning like this. That's like old cars. Yeah, yep. What I want you to remember is yes, each key is labeled with a number. Yep. When you come to the car with that particular key number, the mm. seat will actually automatically adjust. So if you guys share this car together, yep. obviously the boss mm -hmm. sets her seat mm -hmm. for number one. I want you to press set one. set first set. and then one. one. Perfect. Okay. Because oh. what happens is when you turn off the car, the seat will actually move back so you yeah. can uh -huh. now documentation literature some of the boring stuff but still <laughs> very important yeah, it is you have on the inside here your registration certificates with your green suit with allianz everything's mm -hmm. all paid for ready to go mm -hmm. you have your owner's warranty and service booklets the warranty covers the car mm -hmm. top to bottom electrical mechanical mm -hmm. any issues with the car simply bring it back to us even if you're not too sure if it's covered under warranty mm -hmm. it's always good to just check with us to see if it is that would be safe you do have an issue with something or you're not too sure mm -hmm. if it is an issue mm -hmm. you can call through to any Honda site our service center is located behind Mercedes just on the other side of this building here okay so it's on, it's on site uh, but once more electrical mechanical any issues mm -hmm. just bring it back to us okay. uh, that's eight years right correct yes well, that will include your eight years sorry eight years roadside service as well servicing also very easy it's similar mm -hmm. to the Civic mm -hmm. every 10,000 or once a year so mm -hmm. it'll be no different from the from the civil car. Okay. Uh, from here you have the spare key, mm -hmm. um, your owner's manual and navigation manual as well. But we've already set up everything for you. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, you do have another key in here, which is your smart card key. Only one? This one only comes as one. Oh, okay. so, so you have three keys all together. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. This key is more so for people who want something a little bit more streamlined, a little bit more stylish. Mm -hmm. It's like one, a pop key. It's like a pop key, yeah. yeah. So this one can oh. stay in your you just wallet, have to... purse, backpack, however you want it. I know a lot of people that have this have it on their phone wallets. Mm -hmm. So because you take your phone everywhere anyways. Yeah, course, yeah. And this basically acts as a, uh, another key. So you can start the mm -hmm. car, open the car, do whatever you need to do, still using this key. The only difference is that you don't have the physical buttons so. now there's only one last thing i know jackie's customers are always excited for the um, app the, the app, app honda yeah. connects did you already download the application not yet awesome <laughs> Connection between the two, and you connect it up. If you want, do you have your phone on you? Do you want to download it now?